Good morning students today i welcome you in the quick solutions of all india akash test series medical this is test number 2 code c and d for chemistry conducted on 10th of november 2019 so class let's start with the very first question of chemistry which is question number 46 let's read the question students the correct order of ionic radii is students you can see that in this question we are given with p3 minus Cl minus, S2 minus, and K plus. All the given ions are isoelectronic. Isoelectronic means the ions or the atom which have same number of electrons. Students, for isoelectronic species, we all know that as the effective nuclear charge, effective. nuclear charge increases the size decreases so students by using this we can analyze that which ion has a larger size and which ion has the smallest size let's see p3 minus has the larger size because the atomic number is least then sulfur 2 minus then chlorine minus and then potassium plus K plus has the smallest size because the effective nuclear charge of potassium is largest among the given options. So we can see the correct answer for this question is option number three. Let's move to the next question, students, which is forty-seven. Let's read the question, students. Correct order of decreasing negative electron gain enthalpy value is, students. In this question, we are given with chlorine. sulfur oxygen and fluorine and also for this question we need to know that as we go top to bottom in a group in the periodic table the negative value of electron gain enthalpy generally decreases but when we talk about oxygen and fluorine the incoming electron enters the second shell which is very small so the electron electron repulsion is very high as a result the negative electron gain enthalpy value of oxygen becomes less negative than that of sulfur also the negative electron gain enthalpy value of fluorine becomes less negative than that of chlorine which is unusual so students using this thing we can analyze the correct order of decreasing negative electron gain enthalpy value so i'm writing the order chlorine has the maximum negative electron gain enthalpy followed by fluorine then sulfur and the least negative electron gain enthalpy value among the following is observed in oxygen i'm also writing the data for you people so here i'm writing elements here i'm writing electron gain enthalpy value in kilojoules per mole so start with fluorine which is minus 328 then we have chlorine which is minus 349 followed by sulfur which is minus 200 and least we have oxygen which is minus 141 so student i have written the data for you it is very clear that the correct order is number 4 so the correct answer for this question is option number 4 So let's move to the next question, students. Which is forty-eight. Let's read the question. Al three plus ion is isoelectronic with. The given options are O two minus. Next is Ca two plus. Next option is Cl minus, and the last option is K plus. Students, in this question, we are given with aluminium three plus ion, and we have to analyze that this ion is isoelectronic with which of the given ions. So first of all, we need to know that what are isoelectronic species. as we have already discussed that isoelectronic means an ion or an atom which have same number of electrons so let's see number of electrons present in aluminium 3 plus ion is 10 as we all know that the atomic number of aluminium is 13 and when it is present in the 3 plus state the number of electrons present is 10 so let's see which ion has 10 electrons let's start with o2 minus the atomic number of oxygen is 8 so yes when we add two electrons becomes 10 then calcium the atomic number is 20 2 plus means minus 2 that means 18 electrons let's see chlorine 
atomic number 17 minus 1 represents addition of 1 electron that means 18 in case of potassium we know that the atomic number is 19 minus 1 that means 18 electron so it is very clear that aluminium 3 plus iron is isoelectronic with O2 minus which is option number 1 so the correct answer is option number 1 let's move to the next question students which is 49 let's read the question Beryllium and nitrogen have positive electron gain enthalpy due to their the given options are non-metallic nature, stable electronic configuration, high reactivity or variable valency. Students as we all know that the atomic number of beryllium is 4 so the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2 so that means 2s subshell is completely filled. Let's discuss about nitrogen atomic number 7 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p3 so 2p subshell is exactly half filled students this is the reason why beryllium and nitrogen have positive electron gain enthalpy because the addition of one electron in beryllium and in nitrogen is very difficult because in this case the stable electronic configuration will be disturbed so it is very clear that beryllium and nitrogen have positive electron gain enthalpy value due to their stable electronic configuration. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question students which is 50. Let's see the question. Among the elements with the following electronic configuration, which one of them has the highest first ionization enthalpy? The given options are neon 3s1, next is argon 4s2, the next option is neon 3s2 and the last option is neon 3s2 3p1. Students before starting the question we need to write the name of the element belonging to these electronic configuration. Let's start with the first option which is neon 3s1, the element that has this electronic configuration is sodium. Let's move to the next option which is argon 4s2. This is calcium. Then we have neon 3s2. This is magnesium. And the last option which is neon 3s2 3p1 is aluminium. Students, as we all know that in the periodic table, sodium lies left to that of magnesium and calcium lies below magnesium and aluminium lies right side of magnesium. So, let's see that which element has the highest first ionization enthalpy. First of all, let's compare magnesium and calcium. As we all know, when we go top to bottom in the group, the size of atom increases and because of which the effective nuclear charge decreases. As a result, the removal of electron becomes easy or we can say that ionization enthalpy decreases. So, it is very clear that the ionization enthalpy of magnesium is more than that of calcium. Now, let us compare the ionization enthalpy of sodium and magnesium. So, in a periodic table, when we go left to right, the effective nuclear charge increases. As a result, the ionization enthalpy also increases. So, we can say that magnesium has higher ionization enthalpy than sodium. Now, the only comparison left is magnesium and aluminium. As we have already discussed that as we go left to right, the effective nuclear charge increases. As a result, the removal of electrons becomes difficult. So, it is expected that aluminium must have higher ionization enthalpy than that of magnesium. But in case of magnesium, the electronic configuration is highly stable. As we can see that S subshell is completely filled. As we have already discussed that removal of electron or addition of electron in the stable configuration is very difficult. On the other hand, in case of aluminium, since P subshell has only one electron, the removal of electron is very easy. So, it is very clear that the ionization enthalpy of magnesium 
is more than that of aluminium because of stable configuration so class among the given option that is sodium calcium magnesium and aluminium magnesium has the highest first ionization enthalpy value so the correct answer is option number 3 that means neon 3s2 is the correct answer let's move to the next question students which is 